in today's video I'm going to show you everything I got for my family when it comes to advent calendars. Now before I get into this I just wanted to mention that we did little things that um, we all need as a family and because we are plant based it was hard to find one of those chocolate calendars so I'm sure you could get them online but I thought this was a really good opportunity to stock up on those practical things that we do need. And as for Theodore, my little boy, we decided to do a book advent calendar for him so he gets a new, I should say, secondhand new book every day. And yeah, it's just a little bit of fun and we did plan this in our Christmas budget. So each advent calendar cost about $50. Now mind you, our Christmas budget is $100 per person. So $50 for the calendar and then $50 for Christmas day. So yeah, if you are keen, then give this video a thumbs up, click that subscribe button and let's get into it. Okay, so I thought it would be fun to start off with my fiance's calendar. And I did get a mixture of food and things from Kema. Now the aim of this calendar was to try and pick things that were under $3 and there definitely was a little bit more expensive things but I did compensate with that by getting a few more cheap things. So let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so this is the calendar here and we do have to make some Christmas stockings to put actual things in there which every day I'll pick a new thing from this bag. He doesn't know what's in this bag so hopefully he doesn't watch this video. Otherwise Isaac. You get in it. So the first thing that I did pick up was this spiced ginger beer. Isaac loves ginger beer and I thought this would be so festive and it's Christmassy and I reckon it, he would just really like it because it is a limited edition. This one was from Audi and I think it was $3 so I really really like that. So the second thing I got were these shoes and he just wears these shoes all the time. They're great for work and they're very practical. They're black and they go with anything. So I picked him up a pair of these. I then got him another a pair of shoes which was a dollar fifty um, I thought these were so good for summer he does not have thongs so he kind of needs them and then got him two plain shirts these were three dollars and three cents each and then got him a pair of undies because you can never go wrong with undies they were two dollars guys so thought I would add them in next I got him these cotton tips I thought these were really practical because everybody cleans their ears and I know they would definitely get used up I then got him these veggie chips he absolutely loves them and I thought it would be so fun to <laughs> open them up and let him go wild because he will he'll devour them in like one one minute okay so I think it's totally okay for men to pamper themselves so I definitely encouraged it with Isaac and I got him three different mask things. The first one is um, a mint foot mask. And like Isaac already has soft feet, but men should be able to pamper themselves as well. I then got him this charcoal mask and this peppermint one. And I thought these were quite masculine flavors as well. So that's kind of what I was aiming for. I also got him this coffee body scrub and I thought it was quite masculine as well. And just really nice to like pamper yourself because yeah, totally off. Next, I got him this food drink quiz, which I think is so cute and quirky and really good if you are having like guests over. So I think he'll really appreciate that. I then got him a heap of snacks. So we have nuts, cookies, and his favorite smush balls. So because Isaac is becoming a coffee person in the mornings to get to work, I thought it would be really practical to get him a coffee cup. That way he can recycle it and use it every day. Hopefully. Next, I actually got these items to try and encourage Isaac to be a more productive and organized person. So hopefully it works. Um, Isaac is studying as well as working. So I got him this binder folder for his coursework. I then got him this weekly planner. So hopefully he like utilizes it to his advantage and actually figures out what he needs to do that week because Isaac's head's a little bit all over the place and I totally get it because I was once that person as well. To top off the organization, I got him this really nice masculine black planner which says 2019 and this is just a Kmart one. I think this was $3 which is totally awesome. It has the calendar and then it has um, your yearly planner and then your like days. And lastly, this gift was the most pricey at 
and I thought he would absolutely love this. I really, really like it, guys. Um, which is this. It's like a Zen coloring in book and it has animals. Isaac loves animals. If you haven't seen any of his tattoos, they're all about like all the wildlife. So I think he will really appreciate this. And to go with that, I got him these metallic gel pens so he can color in his book. So I still need to get two more items. So definitely comment down below what you reckon I should get him. That is under $5. And now we'll move on to my sisters. So before I start off, I just wanted to mention that most of these items were from Kmart and Target. So yeah, let's get straight into it. The first thing that I got her was this Flawless Beauty Circular Motion Brush and I thought this was awesome because she loves makeup. Next I got her these 3 meter pineapple lights for her bedroom and I know she'll absolutely love them because who doesn't like twinkle lights? I know I do. Next I got her this little accessory kit which comes with two pencils, a sharpener, a little cute rock that is motivational, sticky tape, paper clips and a little sticky note pad so she can definitely use that next year for school. So I got her a few toiletry products because every girl needs a few toiletry products. The first thing I got her was this face wash which is just a standard face wash. I know she'll definitely use that. I then got her this hand cream which was super cheap from Kmart, I think this one was like $2, as well as this body butter. Next I got her this coconut body scrub, again with the toiletries, <laughs> we have a theme going on guys, as well as a poof, I think this one was about $1.50 so a really good deal and like these things definitely bulk up the advent calendar and keep price to a minimum. I then got her these bath salts so she can have like a nice relaxing bath. The next thing I got Katrina was these hair tie elastics and these were $1.50 from Kmart. From Aldi's I got her these makeup round pads and these were also a dollar. and every girl needs these if you do wear makeup because they are awesome for removing mascara. Just add a little bit of coconut oil so I know she'll definitely use them. I got these makeup remover wipes which is I think these were $3 but I know they will definitely get just all this stuff will definitely get used so I'm like that's what I was going for the practical stuff that is kind of fun and from Kmart I got this peppermint exfoliator kind of like lipstick um this was two dollars and I thought it was really awesome next from Kmart I got this nail polish and she loves black nail polish I think this was three dollars so um not bad for the price now I don't know about you but socks go missing in our household so I got Katrina three pairs of socks and these were three dollars from Target I got her this shower cap which was a dollar fifty I then got her these gel pens which were a dollar fifty from Audi's and that is to go with her book kind of like Isaac's one but it's a floral one so I'm actually giving her that for Christmas not in her advent calendar but yeah this is the gel pens to go with it like Isaac's from Audi, I got this blending sponge, which you can never go wrong with new sponges. And I think this was a three, $3. Next for $1.50, I got two erasers, which will be really practical for school. So the next present is these little pearl earrings and they were very inexpensive, but Katrina definitely loves costume jewelry. So I thought I would chuck them in with her. And to top her advent calendar off, I just got this snicker bar from Woolworths, which was a dollar and Katrina loves Snickers. That is everything that I got for Katrina, my sister, who is 15. So if you did like some of these, let me know in the comments down below what one was your favorite. And now for the last advent calendar, we will go on to Theodore's and this is a different type of advent calendar. It is a book every day and all the books that I got were secondhand besides like two or three and they range anywhere between 10 cents to a dollar and the new ones were about five dollars each. So this is all the books that I got for plus more in front of me. So there is 24 books and it is a lot but it's to last the whole year and beyond so let's get straight into it and I'm going to start off with my favourite book of all time and that is The Hungry Caterpillar. This is a touch and feel hungry caterpillar book and I won't go through it because then it will make the video way too long 
but this was 30 cents guys and it's practically brand new so I'm so happy about that. Next we got the Possum Magic book which is also in really good condition again for 30 cents and all these were from the op shops and any thrift store around so I can't link them in the comments down below but I do encourage you to definitely check out your thrift store because there is amazing builds. We then got this little set of Spots Harvest and Spots Toys books. Now for a lot of these books I did try and aim for the hard pages so not all of them are like that but most of them are. I also got him this Santa book which is a little old but I, I like it because it's got Santa on it and I did want to throw a few Santa books into the mixture. He then got this Tell the Truth book and I think it's super cute because it's got a really good concept. Next we got him this really beautiful book which is Global Garden and it's actually a pop-up book which is so cute and I just had to get it. I think all these books here were for 10 cents and you just can't go wrong with them. So we also got this other Christmas book and it's When I Dream of Christmas. It's really beautiful and in amazing condition and I think this one was actually 10 cents as well. We then got this little What Doggy Wants book and it is like you move his head around and he's like no 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 and I I reckon Fedor would love this book. He loves dogs. I got these sparkly books and they're just really pretty. They have like sparkly red foil and they are hard page as well. 10 cents each. I then got him this first car book which is very simple but um, it teaches you, well teaches him exactly what is the vehicle I guess you could say. Um, this was a dollar. Now I really love this book. It's called Bright and Beautiful and I think all the illustrations are really lovely. I'll go through it with you guys. I just think it's really really pretty and it has like fish and butterflies and it's kind of like a painting in a book. I just, I, I had to get this one. Next book is another hard page book and it's called Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear and I think it's super cute. I got this other Christmas book and it's called Animals Advent and it is a little older but I thought it was super cute and goes with the Christmas theme. And then got quite a few animal inspired books and the first one is this little turtle touch and feel book this fun on the farm book and bees counting dots. So I thought this one was super good because it did talk about counting and all this learning and stuff. Now Fedor was actually with me when I was picking this one out and it's called Semi the Snail and you put your fingers in and you move its eyes and this is really great because it's definitely engaging for the little ones. Now I love very simple books for babies and this one is colours so it talks about orange and all the colours involved, red, you know how it is. Um, it's quite straightforward and it's really good for learning. The next book that I got was this Aladdin book and who loves Aladdin? This book was super nostalgic and I definitely had to get it for him. Now this book was not $3.95 because it's definitely not brand new. It is from the op shop and I only paid 10 cents for it and it is Teddy's Treehouse Adventure. And again, another hard paged book. Another book for 10 cents, and this was Together, Just Like Us. I thought this was so cute. It's got, it's got naked mold rats, guys. And lastly, for the second hand books, was Old MacDonald Had a Farm. This is actually a song book and a touch and feel, so I thought that was super cute, and we can definitely utilize it to sing songs and encourage him to have a stronger vocabulary. Now we do have two brand new books in the mixture but we did actually buy these books when it was his birthday however he got so much stuff for his birthday that we decided to put them away for Christmas. So the first one which was five dollars was Thomas the really useful engine and Fatal loves Thomas and then the second one was this rescue book which again was five to six dollars and it has wheels and I think he will love all of them. So that is all the advent calendar stuff that we got for our family. I don't know what Isaac got me because um, he did get me something but I would definitely share with you in Vlogmas what I did get from him. 
So keep tuned for that if you do want to see our Vlogmas and turn that notification bell on so you get reminded of whenever we upload a video, which will be every day anyway for Vlogmas. So yeah, if you did like this video and feel inspired, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what your favourite thing was out of this advent haul. I know it was a little long, but we did have a lot of stuff to buy for. And yeah, if you do like this video, then subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!